Hello everyone, it's your boy Grim Cookies. Welcome back. It has been a minute since I've posted here on YouTube and I just want to preface this, this video by saying that this is going to be a serious discussion and in the comments down below, if you feel like you don't have anything to contribute constructively to this conversation, then I would just politely ask you not to comment at all because this is, for me and for a lot of people, an important issue and I wanted... I felt I needed to speak on it because I don't see enough of it happening and I feel like it's something that has to be addressed. Not only by the community as a whole, but by the Sims team themselves. So, the title of the video might have seemed a bit clickbaity, but I, I genuinely feel like it's, it's a huge issue. So, you will remember a while back and I'm just going to find the date of it. We got an update that added a whole bunch of new skin tones to the game. So, in February of 2018, and I just want to make it really clear how long it's been since since February of 2018. If you're not watching right as this, it's been over two years. So February 2018 to February 2020 was two years. So it's been two years and about three months since we got the skin tone update in The Sims 4 that added new tones. And if you'll remember, it was a it was an awesome move. I'm glad they did it. I've always felt that we should have a skin tone slider like in The Sims 3 or a color wheel. That's my opinion on it, but I am glad that they did something. It was two years ago and we haven't gotten anything since then. But I just wanted to remind you, in case you're not familiar with the situation, that a bunch of the skin tones that they did add to the game are broken. And when I say broken, I don't mean that they cause glitches. I mean that the actual texture of them is not, it's not up to standard. I'm just going to take her eyebrows off. I know she's going to look ridiculous, but I want to, it's a bit hard to see, but it is it is there, the issue, and I'm going to zoom in, and I also might just put a little, I might adjust the contrast in post-production so you guys can see it a little bit clearly, but I just want to jump in here really quickly and say I have photoshopped this little screenshot I've got up just so that the issue is more obvious. It doesn't, it's not this full-on in-game, but it is very noticeable. Um, I just wanted to increase the contrast on it so that you could actually see it a bit clearer in the YouTube video, but it is there in-game. In this one, you can see that around this area in the middle of her T-zone, you can see this big splotch of, it. it's like a, a change in the tone. It's a lot more orangey. It's not meant to be there. It's not a birthmark or anything like that. It's an actual issue with the texture. It's crunchy. Um, the compression hasn't, hasn't done well. And you can also see down here in the nostril coming out of the nose and a little bit above the lip. I know that it's hard to see, but if you've got your game open, you can see this for yourself because it is there. So that, that skin texture is, in my opinion, and a lot of others, unusable because it's it's blotchy and you can see it's just not high quality. The same issue is on this skin tone that was added as well. You can see it again at the nostrils, above the lips, and then also in that T-zone area, there's this big like blotch of another color. Um, it's on this skin tone again in the same exact same places. I know it's a little bit difficult to see, but again, I encourage you to open up your games and have a look at it for yourself. So it's on this one too, a little bit lighter. I'm just going to go through them all. This one as well has the issue too. And then I think the rest of these skin tones are ones that we already had in the game. So they don't have the same, the same issues, but I'm going to go back down to that. Um, I think it's a little bit more visible on this skin, so I'm just gonna leave it on. But I just wanna talk, it's been, so how long did we say? It's been two years since that patch was was released and we got these skin tones and it was never fixed. It was never fixed. And CC creators fixed this issue within 24 hours of the patch happening. They released custom CC replacements for these skin tones that fixed it. They was It was smoothed out and it looked fine. And People have been using them ever since, but we never got an official fix from EA. It was never something that they addressed or spoke on or said, hey, our bad, we're going to fix it ASAP. It never happened. There was no fix. And still to this day, two years later, there has not been a fix. And it was something that people were vocal about back then, and they're still vocal about today. Skin tones in The Sims 4 are an issue. The darker tones are ashy. They're not representative of how real people look. And they're, they're blotchy. The textures of them are not smooth. It doesn't look good and they're unusable. I know that as a, as a, you know, a white Australian, I'm not the final voice or even the most important or anywhere near the most important voice on this issue. There are black creators that have been speaking about this since day one, black simmers. I just want, I just felt like it was necessary for me to say something at this point because the issue has happened again and it happened again. And I just don't see why I don't see why it's happened. 
So in the latest update, it's um, the June 3rd or 4th update 2020, we got a collaboration between The Sims and Mac. Mac is a makeup brand in, in real life, and they collaborated on a bunch of makeup for the game. We got an update for the base game, which is really awesome. I was very excited about this when I heard about it. It was a surprise and I tweeted about it and the tweet blew up. Everyone was like, what? Oh my God, this is so awesome. And it is awesome. Some of the styles are questionable. Like there, it's very, it's not like everyday wear, but that's not the point. The issue is that once again, we've had an issue where something EA has released does not work correctly on um, the dark skin tones, on black Sims. And it's not, it's not something that I feel is acceptable. The blush... It's the, the issues are on the, on the two blushes that we got. If we zoom in here, you can see that there's this big line across her forehead of texture, um, of the texture being crunchy. And I don't know the exact words because I'm not a game designer, but it's the, um, it's basically the texture's crunchy. It looks, it looks bad. You can't even see the blush. There's a line on her cheek there. Um, this neck swatch as well adds this massive big lighter splotch across the top of her face. That looks really, really silly. Again, I might throw a filter over it in post-production so it's a bit more obvious for you guys watching because it's super obvious in game if you see it, but watching this video back on YouTube, it might not be as clear. So that um, that swatch again is unusable. This next one on the second blotch, you can see that the outsides of her face, there's this massive line in between, um, especially around the eyes here. You, the texture is not smooth. It doesn't look how it should and it's just, it's just a mess, honestly. I'm trying to be as constructive as possible, but at this point, I feel like, I said, I said this too, I was like, this should have been pulled from the update and fixed before it was released. They shouldn't have released this in the June 4th update if it wasn't ready, and it didn't work correctly, and it doesn't. This looks fine on the lighter skin tones, might I add, which is an issue in a, in of itself, because we can see here that this blush swatch is meant to add this little this smooth pink blush to the to the upper upper cheekbones on the outside of the eyes. But on darker skin tones, it doesn't do that. It looks blotchy, it looks like a mess, and it adds this really weird line to the top of the Sims head where the blush isn't even there is no blush up there on the on the lighter skin tones. So it's just um like you can see the hints of the pink there, but it's um it's yeah. It's a mess. This is something that we talk about. If you're not in the custom content community on Tumblr or any website that it exists in The Sims 4, um, this is a conversation that we have often about, you know, not only EA, but CC creators. We have to do our best to make sure, and not just our best, we have to. It's not about doing your best. It's about what you have to do. You have to check your content on every single skin tone, every single swatch to make sure it works correctly. Black Simmers do not deserve to open up their game and not be able to use skin tones that look like them because they've got blotches on them and not be able to use the makeup that we get because it makes their skin look ridiculous. It's just, um, it's, you know, it's, yeah, I can't think of the right words in this very second, but I really hope everyone agrees with me that this is just not acceptable in 2020. It's not acceptable in any year ever, but, you know... This comes the day that The Sims has, you know, EA released that statement about what they're doing to support the Black Lives Matter movement and the donations they're making and all the behind the scenes stuff they're doing to improve their company, which is fantastic. But on the same day that that's happened, they've released content for the game that they obviously never checked on, you know, on black skin tones because it looks ridiculous. I don't have much else to say. I know that this has been a very angry video and my channel has been very easy viewing up until now, but when I saw this and I saw that nobody else has seen, seems to be talking about it, there have been other people, but I think a lot of people missed this. A lot of, um, the other YouTubers that have been doing reviews of this makeup because when they loaded into their game, they didn't check them on these exact skin tones. They used Sims that had light skins. Um, I've seen about three or four videos and I'm not calling these people out because it's an easy mistake to make. You open up the game and you know, you don't, think to check something on every single skin tone because as a player that's not our job to do but ea should be doing that and they should be checking things and you know i feel i'm it's because at this point it's not going to get fixed ever they're not going to patch this unless we're vocal about it and we tell them that it's not good enough because they never fixed the skin tones that were broken from two years ago over two years ago that i was talking about that have those issues i know that they're not 
extremely game breaking issues but for the players that use these skin tones and need that representation they want that representation it's an issue you know um and it's one that you know i love the sims team i love the sims they do a really good job with the hairs and all of that kind of stuff like the the recent hairs that we've been getting in packs are just gorgeous they really are but in the skin tone side of things and with the makeup now it's just um dropping the ball a bit unfortunately and let me put some eyebrows back on her because she she deserves it i just think it's such a shame that this happened when they had such a good opportunity to release something that everyone was super excited about and super happy about i have seen nothing but positivity about this so far people are criticizing you know some of the makeup for being not looking good stylistically they don't like the style of it and i agree i feel like this is um this is not cute but a lot of things aren't cute but they still work this makeup that we got doesn't work it doesn't even do the bare minimum so it's um it's an issue now if you agree with me that's awesome i'm really happy that you see this issue if you don't and you don't feel like this is an issue and it doesn't need to be patched or whatever you know keep that opinion to yourself because the fact of the matter is that if you feel that way then it's probably you know you're probably not somebody that's using these skin tones anyway which is um not my concern in 2020 but you know this is this is an issue a big issue it might add and i feel very i very feel very strongly about it that's why i've made this video today so i you know at this point in the conversation this is where i'm asking myself okay what actions can we take to fix this what can we can we do constructively in the conversation to to help fix this and i'm at a loss for words because people were not silent about the skin tone issue when that came out they weren't they were vocal about it and it never got fixed never they do um they patch the game regularly every time we get a new pack there's a patch before it and they fix a whole bunch of bugs and issues but in creator sim I've, I've found that that these sorts of things never they just don't get fixed um and i just it's really frustrating for me because i like ea is a big company why is they they not are they not fixing things in their game that's broken like they can do it i know they can do it because custom custom content creators have done it and they did it within 24 hours of those skin tones being released so where is the you know where 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 is the the fix from ea because it's an, it's needed you know um making a game is not easy i'm not trying to like publicly bash the employees or anybody that worked on this stuff because the blush is very pretty but only on light skin sims it's not um you know it's a very it's a very subtle like contour style blush that just adds this these very gentle like tones to the sims face and it's very pretty but it should be working on every single skin tone and not only that every single skin tone should just look good from the get-go it shouldn't have these blotchy patches it shouldn't look crunchy the texture should be smooth it should be fine it should look good and that's not even diving into the whole conversation about how we don't have enough skin tones you know it's um it's really such a shame because i really love the sims and i know that you all do too because it's a community that i feel is very you know good i love the sims community I love the sims team i love the game but at this point i felt like this needed to be spoken on because you know nothing's ever going to change if we don't say to ea and the world hey this is not acceptable and i don't feel like it is so you know i'm gonna take some time to write out after i finish this video what i think we can do constructively to, to fix this what you know maybe we can like tweet them i don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to think on that but I will I would I'm gonna try and do something and I've um I've as I as a game changer I feel a responsibility to you guys the community to say something to the sims team and I have I did say it as soon as I saw these things before I even made this video last night I um I, I did I sent a message to to the to the team privately like not publicly and I said hey I think this shouldn't have been released if it wasn't fixed and it didn't look good you know I'm not I'm not just making this video for the for the woke points like I, I i want action taken and i'm doing my best to make sure that happens so i hope that this doesn't come across as me wanting to look you know hmm. like attention seeking because that's not the, that's not what i wanted i just wanted to to bring awareness to this in case you weren't aware of it and hopefully somebody at the ea sees this and sees that 
you know, we don't feel it's acceptable and it gets fixed. That's all I want. That's all I want. And that's what I think all anyone wants. We want these issues fixed and we also want more diverse skin tones So The Sims 4 or a slider or a color wheel or something. It's important. It should be a top priority in my opinion. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this whole thing. If you have, I want to remind you guys, if you're going to contribute to this conversation in the comments down below or on Twitter or any other social media platforms, keep it constructive. Okay. If you don't agree, just stay out of it, please. That's my humble, humble ask. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Grim Cookies. You know, usually I'd ask you to check out other videos, but what I want you to do right now is go tweet somebody at the Sims team and ask them to fix this. Okay. Thank you so much. Goodbye.